Here we got a um, another bunya pump PA13 in the Ravenshoe area near Windy Hill. This is the, the creek that it's situated in. This is the start of the, the supply pipe where the strainer is. So we just cut uh, slots in the strainer with a a grinding disc, so the slots are roughly about six to eight mil wide, about 75 mil or three inches, a bit over three inches each cut, and there's three rows around the pipe. And then we uh, chain it down to the rock so it doesn't move, and then we've got the joiners. We screw the joiners together because it's a lot harder to glue them all, and if we ever want to replace them, it's a lot easier to do any work on it, just unscrew the screws and take it apart. Another chain, and we've got another joiner again. Another chain. So this one here would be running off a about a five to six litres a second flow rate. There's a full pipe in the stream. And we've got another joiner, another chain to secure it. Now we bought the Another chain, and we've got a join in this the pipe, the two pipes joined together on the flared end. And now we've got the pipe. There's the creek. Now we've got the pipe out of the creek for most of the way. There's the creek beside it. We've got um, roughly 42 metres of piping and we've got a four or about three sorry two meters for four now we're joined We got the creek back to the pipe. We have another join. The pipe is coming back to the stream again, just running above it. We have another join. We're pretty close to the water, probably about half a meter above the water just here. And we've got it either level or sloping down all the way. We've got another join here and an elbow. Then we got a slide valve, so um, out of the out of the creek together, all together. So if you want to service the pump, you can turn it off there. We have another elbow that's taking it down into the creek, and another elbow down on the pump before it goes into the pump to level back off. And there's the bunyip. It's got a 98 or a four inch piston on it put the tube on it to overcome the friction with the bigger bigger seal or piston seal with the top part drops back down by gravity and it's sucking in the water at the same time 
This one here is pumping up to about a 40, 38 to a 40 metre head. Here's the pressure gauge. So 400 kilopascals is 40 meters. You can hear the pump in the background doing its cycling. This line here goes back around. And it exists going into the existing uh, petrol pump. And then the salt one is uh, delivery line going up to the tank and we'll go up to the tank and have a look what the out output of the tank is so this is the output of the bunyip pump with the 98 or 4 inch bore So it's pumping about seven and a half liters a minute. The five liter jug. So it should take about 40 seconds to get the five liters. Five litres now, a bit over then. So this is it going into the tank through a plate valve. Now we lift the float valve up. It will stop the pump. The pump will just stall in a pump strike. Then we let it go down. And off it goes again. <laughs> 